everyone welcome to skills build training youtube channel i am sanya and this channel is all about showing you how to become an it pro fast so in today's video we will discuss how to run windows program on linux yes you can run windows program using vine wine stands for wine is not an emulator and wine is actually an acronym for that wine has brought about a major change in linux distributions windows is a well-known and popular gaming platform with the assistance of wine windows games can be played in linux along with native applications wine has added several windows applications to these linux software library that run perfectly on linux so let's get started and i'm going to show you how to run windows program using play on linux and wine tricks these are the derivatives of fine but for that we need to install fine so open your terminal by pressing ctrl plus alt plus t now there are various ways to install fine on your system almost all the linux distributions come with fine in their package repository most of the time the latest stable version of fine is available via package repository so before starting you need to make sure that your system is up to date using the following commands in the terminal sudo apt update and then hit enter it will ask for your sudo password so you need to write your sudo password here now you need to write sudo apt upgrade and then hit enter it will upgrade all the packages that have not upgraded yet so before installing the latest version of Vine, it is recommended to remove any previously installed versions of the Vine package or other programs that depend on Vine. For example, Vine Tricks, Vine Mono, etc. This is because the previously installed versions may cause conflict with dependencies. So to remove any previous package, you need to write sudo apt purge wine hq hyphen stable and then hit enter in order to continue you need to press y now let me clear the screen first now you need to check if your system is 32 bit or 64 bit so then you can choose the suitable wine version according to it so you need to write uname hyphen m and press enter here you can see it is a 64 bit system the next thing I'm going to do is, in order to run Windows program on 64-bit system, you need to add Vine i386 architecture before proceeding further. So I'm going to write sudo dpackage double hyphen add hyphen architecture i386 and then hit enter. Now we need to add the Vine signing key. So you need to write wget hyphen q o hyphen https colon double slash dl dot winehq dot org slash vine hyphen builds slash release dot key pipe pseudo apt hyphen key add hyphen and then hit enter now you need to add the latest available wine repository so you need to write sudo apt hyphen add hyphen repository single quotation dev http colon double slash dl dot hq dot org slash vine hyphen builds slash ubuntu slash space artful main single quotation and then hit enter now you need to press enter in order to continue why has different versions to download I'm going to download the stable version. So you need to write sudo apt install double hyphen install hyphen recommends vinehq hyphen 
stable and then hit enter. Now to ensure that Vine has installed successfully, you can check its version. So you need to write Vine double hyphen version and then hit enter. Here you can see the version of Vine is 3.0.4. So I'm going to clear the screen first. As you can see Vine has been installed successfully. Now we can use Play on Linux and Vine tricks the derivatives of Vine to run Windows program on Linux. Play on Linux provides a graphical interface for Vine. Play on Linux is bare bones and does not include support for Linux games. It takes a general approach so you may find better office application support here. So to install Play on Linux, I'm going to write sudo apt install play on linux and then hit enter now to run play on linux you need to write play on linux and then hit enter now when you first run play on linux a toolbar appear here with the options run close install remove and configure now i'm going to install an application here you can see different categories accessories development education games and graphics multimedia office and others from graphics i'm going to install microsoft paint so here you need to click on install button here you need to click on next next please wait while the virtual drive is being created okay here you can see microsoft paint has installed successfully so i'm going to open it you need to run it so that is how you can run windows program on linux software installed via play on linux is generally more likely to work than software installed with plain vine you can also install non-listed programs however the programs listed here have been specifically configured to be installed and run using play on linux now i'm going to install an application using vine tricks vine tricks is a helper script to download and install various redistributable runtime libraries needed to run some programs in vine these may include replacement for components of vine using closed source libraries so in order to install vine tricks you need to write sudo apt install vine tricks and then hit enter it will ask for your pseudo password it will take some time so you have to wait for a while as you can see vine tricks has been installed successfully now to run it you need to write vine tricks and then hit enter here you can see different option what do you want to do either you want to install an application install a game create new wine prefix and enable silent install so from here i'm going to install firefox okay okay you need to press next next and here i'm going to install it finish here you can see mozilla firefox has been installed successfully here you can see microsoft paint and mozilla firefox Microsoft Paint that we have installed using Play on Linux and the next Windows application that is Mozilla Firefox that we have installed using Vine Tricks. So that is how you can run Windows program on Linux using Vine. If using Vine Tricks seem complicated to you, it is perfectly okay. You can always use Play on Linux for this reason. Play on Linux can do everything you might need to do from Vine Tricks. So that's it for today. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you need any help, you can reach out to us in the comments below. If you like this video, then give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to our channel yet, then please do so by clicking on the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you can get notifications of our upcoming videos. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video.